good people. Hollywood is dying. They're in a lot of trouble. And uh, the course correction does not appear to be imminent because these folks, as the saying goes, in for a penny, in for a pound. They're headed down to pound town, and I don't think that they're going to like this episode. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Pop Culture Rocks. You know who I am. Let's get to this shit. How, <clears throat> first thing I want to say is, how do you make Margot Robbie look ugly and unattractive? How do you do that? She looks ugly and unattractive here. This is one of the ugliest fucking pictures of her I have ever seen. Over here at uh, one of the friendly websites, Cosmic Book News, another Margot Robbie movie bombs with Babylon. And it didn't just bomb, motherfucker. It cratered. It was the Moab of bombs. It was one of them this year. There's been a lot of them. A lot of them. Why are movies not working? Why? Why, oh, why? Tell us why. Remember bros? Bros? The homosexual <laughs> supposed comedy. Uh, I don't happen to be a homosexual. So, well, some motherfuckers would disagree, but that's only because they're trying to get their shine on. I don't happen to be a homosexual. So, homosexual content in movies is incredibly unappealing. Unappealing. It bothers me when two normal people start kissing and slopping all over each, each other and then there's a sex scene. I can't stand it. Can't stand it. I never went to the movies to see things like that. Well, that's not true. I went and saw Porky's, but I didn't realize what Porky's was going to be. I liked it, but still. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Margot Robbie has a string of bombs at the box office, including her Harley Quinn movie. I've never seen I've never seen this before. I've never seen this string these just beautiful it, this is my opinion my opinion you don't have to agree these beautiful women right margot robbie i thought was beautiful olivia wilde at one point well, like when i saw her in tron legacy before she got all thin and gaunt and vegan like she was beautiful holy shit so many of them so many i was just thinking about oh uh elizabeth banks elizabeth banks i mean First time I saw her, I think it was Spider-Man, right? It was Spider-Man. She was playing uh, Betty, Betty Brant. Beautiful, beautiful women. And now they all look like strags. Now they're just fucking devastatingly unattractive. And that's intentional. That's on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Are they 22 anymore? No, they're not 22. But you can still carry some of that beauty and grace forward a decade, maybe 12 years. You know, you can still do that. Not lie to yourself. Oh, 50 is the brand new 20. No, nah, bitch. It's still 50. It's still 50. <clears throat> Terrible shit. Margot Robbie doesn't have the best track record as one of her other movies bombs at the box office. Babylon. The flick opened and brought in. Oh, <clears throat> oh. oh. 3.6 million fucking dollars for the entire weekend again against a, what is an 80 million dollar 80 million budget right now it's reported that the flick will likely lose money as it needs to hit 250 million worldwide you bring in three mil on your opening weekend and you need 250 bruh uh, that is no, that's not going to happen. So this movie will probably lose another hundred million, another 80 million. Speaking of bombs, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad only brought in 168 million. And while the pandemic may or may not be part of the problem, it's not part of the problem. It's not part of the problem. Do you know why? Top Gun Maverick, Spider-Man. It's not part of the problem. Avatar has been out two weeks. It's at a billion dollars now. Granted, it doesn't have a lot of competition. 
It's at a billion dollars now. I'm going to tell you what the problems are, but you ain't going to want to hear it. You ain't going to listen. And this industry at large isn't going to back off of the agenda that they're trying to shove down the throats of the movie going public. But let's, let's just face it. There's an agenda out here. And if you're not towing that line, you're either not employed there or you're trying to do something else. That's what it is. It's also the lowest opening for Margot Robbie, who recently starred in Amsterdam, which was also a fucking bomb, bringing only in th 31 million. But she's getting paid, though, right? <clears throat> you better be stashing that money away. You better sock it away, honey. Because guess what? You keep doing that. People ain't coming with $10 million checks anymore. $8 million checks. Whatever it, whatever it costs to get your services. Speaking of bombs, James Gunn's Suicide Squad is a bomb uh, prior to the Suicide Squad. Birds of Prey also massively bombed. Just like I said it was going to. Only brought in $205 million. Birds of Prey was a fucking joke. Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time looks to be her only hit as it uh, brought in $377 million. How do you make... How do you make this woman look ugly? I don't know. Good question, right? I think you do it intentionally. I think you do it on purpose. Excuse me. <coughs> it's that time of year here, folks. Cough season. Um, what I wanted to talk about really was the death of the movie star. You see Babylon here with a, a pretty mediocre... Uh, rotten tomato score. Nobody really cares about rotten tomatoes, anyways. Look at her, man. Look at her. How is she ugly in that pic? She's just fucking ugly. And she's clearly not ugly, right? Everybody remembers her in Wolf of Wall Street. Everybody remembers the scenes that she was in in Suicide Squad. Come on, dog. She's not uh, any of that shit, man. It's just pretty ridiculous. That's, that's a travesty by itself. We might talk about that later. The death of Hollywood is here. It's imminent. It's ongoing, like right now. When you have uh, idiot directors that are coming out, which everybody thought they were the greatest fucking thing since sliced bread, James Cameron being one of them. He's a Canadian, by the way. I didn't know he was a Canadian, so it all makes sense now. Built, built his reputation on incredibly masculine men on lots of fucking guns, lots of guns, action flicks, right? Now, all of a sudden, he's like, well, testosterone something that men have to be weaned off of. <laughs> you pasty motherfucker. Oh, man, I'm going to cut out all the gun scenes for my movies. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 Cool. That's, that's cool. I thought... People normally get a little more conservative when they get older because they start to realize what's going on out here in the world. That clearly has not happened with this guy because obviously he's got money to burn. He's got lines to tow, causes to front. Mr. James Cameron is part of the problem. He's a symptom of the real problem in Hollywood. Star power is almost non-existent anymore. There's a handful of people in Hollyweird that you can call on and have them actually be real stars, real celebrity. The other people pretty much are just hangers on now. And I think that this is a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I think that the emphasis should be on storytelling. We got to a point where Hollywood, the glut and the bloat in Hollywood was so bad, so ridiculous for so long. <sighs> that uh, we just, we, we weren't able to find our way out. You know, we weren't able to find our way out. And, and this, this whole system imploded. This whole motherfucker collapsed. It came apart. You know how this, this world intentionally, intentionally tries to reinvent itself, right? We'll go from plastic to glass. We'll go from glass to plastic. We'll go from electricity to coal. We'll go from coal to electricity. 
we'll go from EVs to combustion engines. Oh no, no. Now we got to go to steam engines. Oh, we got it's always something. They're always trying to keep the money train going. Right? Don't think for one second that if you see EVs sweeping over the planet, if you see uh electric vehicles, EVs, electric vehicles start to become prominent, which they're they're somewhat becoming prominent. You know, they're out there now at least, at least they're out there. But uh don't think that that's for the betterment of the world. It's not for the betterment of the world. It's not for the betterment of society. It's a shell game. It's a shell game because what they're doing right now with combustion engines is pretty much tapped out. It's tapped out. So they've got to switch focus. They've got to switch goal. They've got to get everybody to go somewhere else now, at least 40% of the population. They've got to get them to do something else now. So all of these people breaking in on this shit, pioneering this technology – they're going to be billionaires, right? And there's going to be a lot of trickle down. After that initial trickle down, things are going to start to cool off. Could it take 10 years, 20 years? Who knows? Who knows how long it's going to take to purvey what's going on? I don't know. All I know is, is that I know a shell game when I see it, and Hollywood is a shell game. It has been a shell game for a long, long time. What you guys need to understand out there is they need you. A lot more than they think that they need you. And I do believe that there's some actual genuine ignorance out there when it comes to the Hollywood set. Margot Robbie, Brad Pitt, any of these people that you can point to right now. Uh, what's her fucking name? Sandra Bullock, right? She was in that thing with Pitt here not too long ago. Toby McGuire, Andrew Garfield, the Hemsworth boys, any of these guys. Robert Downey. If they're smart, they keep their mouths shut and they refuse to be bludgeoned into an opinion. If they're smart, there ain't too many of them that are smart anymore, you know, or they owe somebody a fucking favor. So they have to come out and say, yeah, yeah, I endorse X, Y and Z. It was the worst thing that has ever happened to Hollywood, really, was allowing the general public to understand who and what they are. I understand that you want to be associated with people. I, I get that. Maybe you do. Some of them don't. James Cameron showed that the other night. He's giving motherfuckers the finger. Although I've said they kind of deserved the finger because as soon as he walked by them, what did they do? Boo hiss, boo hiss. They kind of deserved it. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Cough drops right next to me too. Yeah, Hollywood is dying on the vine, gentlemen. And there's going to be people, places, and things, X, Ys, and Zs, hmm, to try to make sure that uh, those gaps are filled, those holes are filled. The entertainment well has not dried up. The talent well, the willingness to give customers what they want, that has dried up. Now, there's talent out there. Just go get it. You can find it. You can see it. I can see it. Why can't you? You know, there's talent out there. There's entertainment out there to be had. You have to untrain your mind. You see, all of the stuff that you're used to doing is the stuff that you are going to continue to do until it burns out and just says, fuck you. We don't want you no more. A lot of them have already said that and you guys are still hanging on to them. Get rid of that shit. Get rid of those notions. Stop patronizing people that hate your fucking guts and can't stand you. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Bomb after bomb after bomb after bomb. Even if Avatar, the way of water, makes its $2 billion goal, how is this a model moving forward? How can you possibly suggest that, well, sure, just give me the blank check. Uh, I'll spend $500 million and we'll just pray that it makes $2 billion to break even. Doesn't that seem like a really expensive end around, a really expensive circle jerk? Why would you do that? You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Hollywood needs a complete rethink from top to bottom. They, in my opinion, need to stop being the entertainment arm of these corporate giants and start being movie houses again. Yes, there's risk to being a movie house. 
you might have some flops. You might go under. Your investors might lose out a little bit. But for fuck's sakes, at least you'll have a little bit of originality somewhere down the line. As for the last 10 years or so, 12 years, not a hell of a lot of originality. Not a lot at all. That's just what it is. We kind of have to wait them out, see what happens. They'll either run out of money or we'll run out of uh, time. That's just the way it goes, gents. Hollywood's dying, dying on the vine. And uh, this is the worst year for Hollywood since, what, 74? Since before Star Wars, the original Star Wars. And I remember that time. I was a wee lad at that point, but I remember that time. It was bleak. It was bleak. The... uh, Film and entertainment industry was very dour, very down. There wasn't very much to be happy about or celebrate. Hollywood has always had this thing. They they like this, this what they call gritty realism, except it's not really gritty realism. It's just, it's, it's a real kind of fuck you attitude, you know? We're going to make all of these mob movies and we're going to glorify all of this fucking evil. But we don't want you to use guns now. We don't want you to glorify guns. No, we can't. We can't show uh, pretty women as pretty. No, can't do that. It's going to be what it's going to be, gang. Look for your entertainment where you can find it. Get your butts out there and find your entertainment.